Hello boys and girls, welcome to my show Imperfect Murders. I'm your host, Miss Doe. Today we are here to remember a little girl named Tiahli Palmer. But before we start, I'm so sorry for it. I'd like to say that I just had a breakdown, so I I look like a mess right now. I, I'm so sorry about it, but nothing could keep me away from preparing videos, so here I am. Okay, that's all. Let's begin. Tiahli Elisa Rose Palmer, sometimes known as Tia or Tia, was a 12-year-old Australian girl who lived in Lugan State, Queensland. She was murdered on the 30th of October 2015. Her remains were found six days later and her foster father, Rick Torburn, was charged on 20th of September 2016 with her murder. Torburn pleaded guilty to the murder before the Supreme Court of Queensland on the 25th May 2018. Palmer's foster father said he drew her to Marsden State High School on the 30th October 2015. She did not attend any classes and was not seen for the rest of the day. On the 5th of November, police released photos and appealed to the public for information on her whereabouts in a press conference. Later that day, the remains of a female aged 12, between 12 and 18, were found on the bank of the Pimpema River and on the 6th of November, they were officially identified as Palmer's. Police then began a search for her backpack and school uniform. On the 7th of November, a vigil was held in Logan and on the 14th of November, her funeral was held and attended by more than 600 people. On the 4th of December 2015, a she believed to be Palmer's was found near where her body was discovered. Police conducted many interviews, searched the area around the Pimpema River, and forensically examined a number of houses and vehicles. The investigation failed to find her missing backpack and school uniform. Palmer's foster father, Rick Thorburn, was a person of interest to police from the earliest days of the investigation. The Thorburns fostered no more children after Palmer's disappearance, but continued to run a daycare service from their home until April 2016, when the state's education and child safety departments were advised by police that Rick Thorburn was facing nine serious charges unrelated to Palmer and the family's daycare approval was revoked and their foster care approval was suspended. In September 2016, a car formerly owned by Rick Thorburn was seized by police for forensic examination and on the 20th of September 2016, Palmer's foster parents and their two sons were taken into police custody for questioning. Rick Thorburn was charged with Palmer's murder and with interfering with a corpse. He collapsed shortly after his arrest and was subsequently placed in an induced coma for several days, missing a scheduled court appearance the next day. Police suspect he took pills just before or after his arrest in a suicide attempt. Palmer's 19-year-old foster brother, Trent, was charged with two counts of perjury and one count each of attempting to pervert the course of justice and in, in caste, and was denied bail. Her foster mother, Jolene, and all her foster brother, Joshua, were both charged with perjury and attempting to pervert the course of justice and released on bail. Palmer's grandmother has told reporters, reporters that months before she died, Palmer had declined an official to move in with her mother because she had a crush on Trent and because she loved the horses on the Thorburn property. In a court hearing on the 21st of September 2016, prosecutors said that two days before her death, Trent confessed to a cousin that he had sex with Palmer on the previous Monday and that she had told his mother about it. The court also heard that shortly before her death, 
Palmer had told a friend that Trent would have sex with her when his parents were out and she had told her foster mother about the abuse. On the 23rd of September 2016, investigators began excavating the Thorburn's rural, rural property in a search for evidence. Rick Thorburn said nothing to investigators, but Julian and Joshua both made statements to police. On the 10th of October, Julian's and Joshua's lawyer told the court they would plead guilty to all charges and had agreed to be witness, witnesses for the prosecution. In March 2018, it was reported that Rick Thorburn intended to plead guilty to Palmer's murder, and he did so formally before the Supreme Court on the 25th of May 2018. He was then sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole for at least 20 years. In July 2017, Joshua Thorburn was sentenced to three months in jail for lying to police and hiding information about Palmer's death. Trent Torburn was sentenced to four years in jail for incas, perjury, and attempting to pervert the courts of justice in September 2017 and released on the 19th of January 2018 after spending 16 months in custody. In November 2017, Julian Torburn was sentenced to 18 months in jail for perjury and attempting to pervert the courts of justice. Yeah, that's all. This case makes me sick. Foster caring is so special for me for some reasons. And seeing that foster parents are sometimes monsters makes me so scared and sad. Um, we need to take care of foster kids. We need to make them live, not to kill them and seeing the opposite is just so bad yeah that's it that's it for this case thank you so much for remembering Tiali with me i hope you've enjoyed this video if you could give me a thumbs up and if you could subscribe to my channel that would be amazing because i work so hard for these cases and it really motivates me when you subscribe to my channel and when you comment about the cases and um, I really enjoy discussing cases with you so you can just comment your theories and everything the only thing I ask you to do is to be positive because this is a remembering channel and negativity goes against with the purpose of this channel so uh, as long as you're positive, you can do anything on this channel. And that's all. Thank you so much again. Have a life full of stars. Till then.